so stoked that you came. Thank you so much for being here. You know, your soul knows exactly what to do. Knows exactly what to do. But you don't listen. You don't listen to the intuition and the information and the messages that have been coming. And it's not your fault. You're blinded. You're blinded by a whole set of aspects of consciousness that focus on greed because greed is good. You have to survive. It focuses on pride. You have to stick your chest out and be someone because if you do that, then the people around you will take care of you and you'll stay alive a lot, a lot longer. Or being a victim. Because when you're a victim, then you can get people to take care of you because you know, I'm, I don't feel good and I'm not good enough and you, can, you need to help me. These drives are built into almost everything we do. And they blind us from the inspiration that will get you on your mental journey to millions. A climber, good guy kind of like you and I, high conscious, loves to do stuff, loves to make things happen, wants to be the best at so many things, but always has that feeling like, I'm not there yet. I need to go farther. I need to climb a bigger mountain. Once I climb that mountain, then I'm going to be the climber that I want to be. And then he climbs that mountain. Once I climb that mountain, then I'm going to be the climber I want to be. But there's this one mountain that he has. This one mountain that he has in mind that, ah, gosh, he just knows. If he climbs that mountain, he will reach the pinnacle of his abilities. And he's a little bit selfish about it. You know, he has a whole group of climbing buddies. And all of his climbing buddies are constantly competing. And his pride wants him to be the one that does the mountain before anybody else. Well, a couple years in, One of his friends calls him up, hey, I'm climbing that mountain. And all of a sudden, it's like, (gasps) his heart sunk. You know, his greed kicks in. (laughs) I want to be the first one to do it. You can't have it. I want the glory. And so in a prideful, preemptive move, he books a trip to climb this mountain before his buddy and doesn't tell anyone. Now, the inner voice whispers It's not the right season. But he's got too much pride and greed going on to to listen. And he goes anyway. So now he's on the mountain. And they're at base camp. And the weather, eh, it's not so good. The weather is coming in. Um, It looks like it's going to be okay. It's not terrible. And he just keeps getting this little nudge. Like, just like, wait till tomorrow. Wait till, it's okay. Just chill out. It doesn't have to be today. But you know what? It's that feeling inside like, no, I have to do this. I said I would do it. We're doing it today. Today's the day. I'm in charge. I'm going to make it happen. He's in his forceful make it happen mode. And he tells his Sherpas, we're going up. The Sherpas are like, "Mm, I don't know if I should do that. And he's like, no, we're going. So they start climbing. And as they're climbing, all of a sudden, they're starting to notice that the weather is changing and he's getting the little nudge. You don't have to go up today. You can turn around. You can go up tomorrow, the little nudge. But you know what? That drunk monkey inside, that inner child that wants to be the best, that wants to show everybody what he's made of, prove to everybody that he's good enough, says, no, keep going. You can do this. You won't be stopped by this. You're man enough. Come on. Make it happen. So he keeps pushing. The weather's coming in. All of a sudden, they're, they're not really prepared for how bad the weather is. It's starting to get dark. They're, the clouds are coming in. The snow's really coming down. And they're getting close. I mean, they're really trudging. The Sherpas are like, going, you know, are we really going to make it? Are we really going to do this? And he's like, no, I'll pay you extra. Let's go. We're going all the way to the top right now. Let's do this. And they keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And all of a sudden... <laughs> Boom, he slips and he goes sliding down the mountain. His Sherpa is tied to him. Boom, off of his feet, he goes sliding down the mountain. They're literally flying down. He has no idea where they're going. He goes flying off a cliff and just wham. Suddenly, 
his rope catches and he goes unconscious. His Sherpa has no idea where he is. Can't find him. The rope snapped. He's gone. Immediately, they create a search party. Three days later, he is hanging, finally gaining consciousness. It's pitch black. There's nothing around. All he hears is the wind. He's freezing. He's on the verge of hypothermia. He is literally dying in that moment. And that inner voice says, cut the rope. And he can't see the ground. He doesn't know where he is. He has, it's like, I can't cut the rope. Are you crazy? I'm not cutting the rope. Cut the rope. I'm not cutting the rope. And pff, passes out. They finally found him dead, hanging three feet above the ground. Your inner voice knows exactly what to do to guide you through all the stuff that you fear. Everything that you fear is ultimately avoidable when you are connected to that voice inside. And the mental journey to millions is about clearing the clutter, clearing all of that insanity that is going on in your head so that you can say, ah, that 